In this box should be a uh, Tilton TCT mechanical fuel injection and two crankcase gaskets for a Predator 212. Wow, the guys from Go Power Sports hooking it up. I got it the sticker, the parts performance one in the back, followed by these two, which will, this one will go over your gas tank, and then the circular one will go over the 212, 420, 301, whatever sticker you got on your pole cover. This one will cover the Predator engine sticker that's on the, uh, the stock uh, fuel tank. Other than this uh, crap ton of bubble wrap, we got in here it's the Tillerson TCT mechanical fuel injection. I'm actually really psyched to see how this thing's gonna do because we've just been messing with the stock Predator carburetors and pretty soon a Makuni carburetor because we're gonna be posting a new build pretty soon. And um, right here rolled up in this tube is the um, the two gaskets, one for the go-kart and then one for the mini bike because they both leak because we busted them. So I'm gonna open this up and see what it's all about. This butterfly for the choke's a little strange. It kind of like wobbles around, but I'll just take some getting used to. Um, this is the uh, air filter side, and then this is the uh, engine side, where it bolts up to the uh, port on the cylinder head. So pretty much, the way that this thing works is like, here's your throttle right here. It's hung wide open right now for some reason. If you look in there, it's like, wait, no, maybe it's not. Maybe this has a return spring in it. I can't tell because of this thing. Look at me. I'm a carburetor type of person. This thing is just next level. I actually am really psyched to see it. Yep, so that's wide open, that's closed. So, wide open, idle. All right, that should be the same direction that it is on the, uh, on the uh, engine. So, under this little cap here, if I could get it off, um, is the little adjustment screw right down in there. That's for the, um, The, uh, I can't really see it, I gotta get a light on it. But this thing is for the, um, it adjusts the, uh, the mixture that goes into the uh, engine. There we go, we can see it a little bit better now. But what you do is you turn it, it's got a whole diagram online on how um, you can tune it and like the load and stuff. So um, pretty much like it just shows how, um, it'll show you like what the best like turning point on this will give you the best air fuel ratio that goes to your engine especially like for how much power you're putting out load wise this thing it literally just looks like a stock predator carburetor a little bit heavier but with this massive top plate on it so i'm not going to dissect this to see how it actually works because like i feel like i'm going to mess it up when i put it back together and it won't work so um i'm just going to leave it but um i think this thing's really cool actually it's interesting to see how whole top mechanism works like it even shows you the degree of the butterfly and what it's like open at like that's 90 degrees from fully shut so and it even it marks it up here so that's really cool the um this is covered i guess like for its own safety i'm gonna assume so like dirt water doesn't get in there nothing breaks this screw i'm not too sure what it does this one right here is a little allen guy this guy right here that my finger's pointing to. Um, that's the uh, idle. So, it can adjust the idle and you have to use like Allen for that. This is an Allen key. Um, the choke, I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but well, I'll figure it out because like, I think it's supposed to work with like the housing on this, on the performance kit. The, 212 stage one performance kit with the air filter and the jet but that jet and that stock carburetor is going to be pointless once this thing's on here so we'll have that stock carburetor laying around in case we need to uh it's a brand new carburetor too like um I'm, we might just throw it on um the go-kart because that carburetor is like four years old and stuff and it's kind of corroding in some spots like the fuel petcock which i just realized this doesn't have so um that fuel petcock thing it's all corroded on his so i'm thinking we just um it's time to freshen it up so we'll give it a probably give it a new carburetor and then uh, we will probably clean the old one out maybe modify it a little bit and just see like the difference between a self-modified carburetor versus like buying jets for the stock one and see how it works because like honestly I'm, i kind of want to experiment with that all right this just came loose i wonder what it is so 
Um, I don't know what this does. But you know what? We'll find out. We'll, I'll read some instructions if it came with it. I'll find out. I have no idea if it came with instructions or not. But um, also, what I really liked was these clean, clean cuts. Like, you could cut your finger on that corner 100%. The rest of this stuff is just really, really, like, all nice and everything. And this is a bang for the buck. This is, like, $40. And then with the two gaskets and shipping, it was, like... It uh, didn't even like come out to about fifty dollars or something, but um, I am really stoked and I want to see how this thing works because I'm excited to play around with the air fuel ratio and get the optimal running um, AFR for that mini bike because it um it doesn't like the top end that much and I feel like this thing's gonna change that, but that's because really it's under no load at the top end. It's kind of really short gearing too much power on the engine so i might be changing the gearing on that thing pretty soon to like a 63 tooth sprocket so we can still kind of do wheelies and it'll have a little bit of a better top speed and maybe it'll hold under load better because that stock carburetor is um i was doing something funky i think it's just running a little it sounds like it's running too lean like it's breaking up at high rpms but it doesn't sound like it's breaking up rich because it's not pumping flames out of it so i don't know we'll find out so Pop this little sucker back in. If I could do that. Nope. I lost it. Alright, so I'm gonna put this down and try and put the camera down, try and get this guy back in. Alright, well, I'm an idiot because the choke lever was literally sitting. That's how the screw is, it holds the choke lever in. So, it was literally just sitting in the box unattached because with this thing on, it will probably like snap. So, I have it sitting here, it's not tightened down. Um, now I see how it works. Start, run. Start it, choke's closed, obviously. Run. It's gonna be out here like that. The screw holds it down, so I need to hold down on the uh, the uh, air filter, even though it looks kind of cool. I'll probably just like, lay it over this because I like how the thing looks. But um, I got the rubber cap in here, now it's kind of stuck in there. So, I'm also an idiot. I'm gonna have to get that out with like pliers or something. So, um, yeah, we'll keep you updated. Um, I'm probably going to be installing this thing tonight, but that'll probably be in a different video. Um, so right now, this is just like an overview of the Tillotson TCT Total Combustion Technology. It says on there on the box, their mechanical fuel injection. So yeah, I have my phone plugged in, so it's going to be annoying to see that wire. But um, I cannot wait to install this thing and get on the bike and see how it performs. I'm honestly stoked for this. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be us installing this. And pretty soon we'll see a new project on the channel. So um, I don't know if I put a video out of the engine that we're using, but um, it's, it's going to be cool. It's going to be really, really cool. So um, yep, that's it for this video, guys. And um, thanks for watching.